Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotox here. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Torres Upra O-Stand case for the iPhone 14 Pro. So Torres actually went ahead and set this case over, and the price on this case is going to be $35.99, which I will have linked in the description. As always, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So taking a look at the box, looks very nice, very clean with the Torres logo on top with an orange, orange theme. Torres case for smartphones, simple but unique. And then we do get some information on the back, which we don't really need to read. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so taking a look inside, we do get the case inside of here, inside this plastic tray, so we can move out the box and then take the case out, put that down with the plastic tray. And we do get this nice little pamphlet. So let's start a wonderful journey. And then I guess this is like your warranty, which we don't need. And taking the case out of the plastic pouch, here is our first look at it. So this is a clear case. They also do have a purple version and they also do have a, I believe transparent version, transparent matte version, which I actually like a lot more in my opinion. I don't like clear cases as much as those. However, you can choose from any of those. So they do have the option for that. So there is something very unique about this case and that's gonna be the MagSafe compatibility with the MagSafe stand, which is built in, which I will actually go ahead and show you. So before that, let's go ahead and place our phone inside. As again, this is a clear case. Let me go ahead and wipe the phone down and then place it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from the bottom. All right, and then push down from all the sides. I do have a screen protector on here. So this is a screen protector friendly uh, case. As you can see, I am not getting any liftage from the screen protector and this is from a different brand. So it is not from Torres. So no compatibility issues over there, which is really nice. So taking a look at the back, as we can see, it is a clear case. We can see the color of the phone perfectly, which looks really nice. We do see the Torres logo just down there. So that is basically about it for the branding, which is good to know. We do have our MagSafe. Uh, Magnus right here, Apple logo right there, and then we do have a lip around our camera lenses, which is fairly large. So if you do manage to drop it on its back, then the camera lenses should be fine in most scenarios. So moving on to the front, we can see that even with the screen protector, we do have a fairly large lip going above the display, all around the display. So again, if you do drop it on its face, then it should be fine as well. And then we also do get our cutout for our speaker grill up top, which will basically mean that you're not gonna be losing out on any sound quality. And the same goes for the bottom firing speakers plus our lightning port, which has its own cutout as well. On the sides, we can see that there are these little air pockets uh, that is for the extra protection, extra shock protection with this case, which is good to know. So this will protect your phone. And again, one more branding right there. So it says Torres, which you really can't see as it is a clear case. Up top, we don't have anything there. On the right side, we do have our power button right here and our volume marker and mute switch cutout. So testing that out real quick. All right, so fairly accessible, no issues with the mute switch. And now if we go ahead and test out the buttons, so starting with the power button in three, two, one. All right, so super clicky and very tactile, no extra forces being applied. And then if we move on to the volume marker, again, super clicky and very nice uh, sounding clicks. So no issues with the buttons. You're not gonna be applying extra force, which is always good to know. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's test out the MagSafe compatibility. So I do have a MagSafe power bank right here. And if we do go ahead and stick it on there, as you can see, no issues there. So the lip does not actually push the power bank unlike some other cases I've tried. We are getting our wireless charging and it is fairly strong. So if we do go ahead and do a quick shake test with this power bank on, all right, so we can see that the power bank is stuck onto there and the magnets are really strong. So the main thing I wanted to talk about with this MagSafe right here, you might be wondering where the kickstand is. And surprisingly, it's actually right here. This is your kickstand. So all you have to do is put your finger in here, put your finger into the cutout right there and just pull your MagSafe ring and voila, here is your kickstand. This is what it looks like from the side or the top. As you can see, there's an inner layer of magnets for the MagSafe compatibility, and we can actually test that out. As you can see, it does stick on. And again, this is your kickstand. So all you gotta do is open it up, put your phone down, and now you have a kickstand embedded into your case without adding any extra bulk to it. So as you can see, it is completely flat when shut, unlike some other brands where they do add a kickstand to your case, 
However, the kickstand does go above and it does actually lead to a lot more rocking than usual on your case, which this case does not do. So again, let me go ahead and show you. All you have to do is put your finger in and just pull the MagSafe stand out. Again, putting it down, no issues landscape. If we do try portrait mode, again, no issues there. So if we do go ahead and get some clicks on, as you can see, everything is shaking except for the MagSafe kickstand. So overall, a really nice case. And last but not least, let's go ahead and do a quick little rock test. So if we do place it down, we do have our camera lip on the top right. So the top left will definitely shake. But again, other than that, the top right shakes a little bit. But other than that, you're not getting too much shakage with this case. So again, this is a super nice case. I have actually used a similar case with the, a similar MagSafe kickstand setup right here. But again, this is very sturdy. The hinges feel very sturdy. And overall, it feels like a premium case. So as always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps support the channel. And again, everything in this video will be listed in the description down below. So as always, see y'all in the next one.